now we're ready to start creating titles. Now there is actually a title menu up here in the toolbar and when you first click on it you'll see that the only option you've got is to create new titles and we've also got things like based on and template which will come to a bit later on. You can get default still, default roll or default crawl. The only thing that I would say is generally speaking most of the titles you do are default stills but there are times when you want to do a rolling credit at the end or a crawling credit, something going across the screen. If you want to create rolls and crawls, always create them from here. If you want to create default stills, you can do it a number of ways. You can go down to the new items icon down here in the project panel and go to new title. Or the keyboard shortcut on a PC is Control T and on a Mac is Command T. So Control T and it comes up and it says right. How big do you want this title to be? Do you want it to be the same settings as your sequence, which clearly I do? And also, we want to name it. We want to give it a name that means something to us. But before I do that, I'm going to click Cancel. I want to make sure that my new titles go into a title bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new bin in my project panel and call it Titles. And then I'm going to control double click or command double click to open it in place. And then when I create new titles, they'll automatically go into the title bin. So control T for the new title. It's the same size as a sequence. And I can call this one the welcome title and click OK. And that brings up the title creation window. Sometimes it used to be known as the titler. It's a slightly weird name just going to expand it a bit so we can see what's going on. Now this window is showing us some settings. These lines around the outside of the box here are showing us what's called the action safe and the title safe areas. Now in the days of cathode ray tubes with curved screens what you would find is if you had action or titles that were too close to the edge of the screen they would get distorted to become difficult to understand or view. So they came up with an action safe and a title safe area, effectively saying that if you keep your action within this outer box, it's not going to get distorted. Or if you keep your titles within this inner box, it's definitely not going to be distorted. However, with the advent of flat screens and computer monitors and all kinds of other ways of viewing it, these are not quite as important as they used to be. Certainly if you are doing stuff for broadcast television, then you might want to pay attention to these. But if the majority of what you're doing is going out onto the web, then you might want to consider occasionally thinking about breaking these rules. But on the whole, these rules are worth obeying and they're very good guidelines. Now, when you open up this title window, notice that the text tool has been selected, meaning that I can instantly create text now at the moment all I can see at the back is black video and that's because if I move this you'll see that my current time indicator is actually over black video but if I was to move my current time indicator over the C you would see that I would be seeing at the background the C and in fact I can turn off whether I see the background or not with this little button here I can also choose which bits I want by simply clicking and scrubbing when I get this hand so I can get to different parts of my shot entirely. What you see in this window that's controlled by this button here will not appear in your title. It is there for reference only. Okay, so what you see back here will not be saved with your title. The only thing that will be saved is what you create with the title tools. So we've got our title window open and we're ready to now create some text. Notice that I can create text in the standard way going across the screen but also going down. But there are two ways of creating text. One is called the point text version, where I click and I start to type anything that I want, and it goes all the way across the screen and off the other side. So that's point text, which will always move across the screen. So I'm going to double click that to select it all and hit delete, and it's gone. The other way is called area type. And if I click and hold, say at the top of this title safe area, and drag, until I get to the bottom of the title safe area I have an area type where text will scroll now I'm going to turn the font size up you can turn font size up here or you can turn font size up here I'm going to turn it up quite a bit say to about 300 roughly and now when I click and the cursor is flashing 
and I start typing anything I like you'll see that it scrolls so that's the difference between area type and point type and if I just double click to select it all and hit delete it's completely gone but my area box is still there ready to go I need to go to my arrow tool to select the area box and actually delete it that would be the way to actually delete it the arrow tool is going to move around what we create so here's my text tool I can click and I can change the font size so if I type my name my name's Andrew I can change that by double clicking to select it all and then going over here to the font family clicking in the font family and then using the up and down arrows on my keyboard to scroll through the various fonts that are actually on my machine until I find one I like and then below that while the text is selected like this I also have font styles now this one only has regular so I can't choose bold and I can't choose italics because it's not actually there doesn't mean that I can't do bits and pieces for instance I can get down and choose small caps and I can slant it one way or the other and of course I can make things look bigger and smaller with tracking and kerning and all those bits and pieces so let me just turn off small caps and reset slant to zero and we'll talk in the next tutorial about some of these different aspects for creating text and the bits and pieces that we can put in it to make our text look a lot more interesting and a lot more fun